I will repeat what we discussed just now. You are looking for two pumps, each 720 meter cube per hour at 130 meter head. You want these two pumps to run in parallel and we have to design the system for the run out flow. Will you send a sketch of the system? Yes, we want to do a system curve. And uh, we'll make sure that you have the pumps in Melbourne in 12 weeks. Good news. Alan is confirming an order for two pumps later this morning. I am more or less certain that this is going to be our pump model 200E. How much time do we have for delivery? We have to deliver these pumps in 12 weeks in Melbourne. This means that we have to start today if we have to send the pumps out by ocean freight in four weeks time. Please check the pump selection. We have three different impeller designs for this pump. Sir, what is the flange to be PN or NC150? Customers are looking for NC125 pound flanges for suction and NC250 pound flanges for delivery. I do not think that we need to modify anything, but will you please check? I have suggested uh, zinc free bronze impeller and sleeves and AISA 410 shaft and the customers are quite happy with cast iron FG260 casing. So you have here a nearly standardized metallurgy and you cannot really creep about delivery in four weeks. The water contains some suspended solids and the customer feels more comfortable with a uh, packed gland arrangement. In our last QA meeting, we decided that we'll do NDT for impellers for all high head pumps. Will you please prepare your QA on this basis? We have a very good customer here and we should do everything possible to exceed his expectations. So let's do exemplary documentation and get the pumps out in four weeks time. All the best. Necessity is the mother of invention. These are quaint words, but true. The story of our pumps begin with this necessity. It may be a customer in Australia or one of the many water problems in Calcutta. Solution starts with an idea. Idea starts with patterns. We continue to use traditional pattern making methods and this is still the norm for engineered and mid-sized centrifugal pumps. Therefore, we depend heavily on the experience of our designer and pattern maker as well as on close cooperation amongst designer, pattern maker and foundry experts. It is almost like conducting an orchestra. We are visiting Star Pattern here in this village and he is one of the traditional pattern makers who has been working for some of the largest American farm companies for the last 30 years. Inspection of pattern is a major step in the development of a pump. He ensures that all external dimensions have been maintained. He checks the gauges and ensures the internal hydraulic passages have been accurately reproduced. He makes sure that contraction and machining allowances are adequate. Also and very importantly, he ensures that the pattern and the core boxes will conform to the molding methods at the foundry. Sir, we have a 3 impeller pattern for 200E. One is 5 vane impeller, 27mm width. One is 6 vane impeller, 18mm width. And this one is 23mm width with 6 vane. So which will be better for this selection? Well, the duty is 720 meter cube per hour at 130 meter. Yeah. And this impeller does it at uh, the best efficiency point. Yeah. So I suppose you should be selecting this one. Yeah. And that one is uh, actually a fire pump impeller. So we should not be using that one. So finally, 6 band, 23 mm width. 6 band, 23 mm is the one yeah. you should be selecting. Thank you. Number of impeller vanes, vane width at the outlet, and also the vane angle at the outlet some of the factors that determine the impeller performance and the characteristic curve. 
So you can get different pump characteristics using the same casing and different impellers. This is the Francis Venn impeller of a split case pump. The duty is approximately 1400 cubic meters per hour, 25 meters running at 1450 rpm. This is an example of a high specific speed impeller. High specific speed Francis Venn impellers are short and fat and you can see the vein profile at the inlet is somewhat twisted. This class of impellers achieve maximum possible efficiency of about almost 90%. For high specific speed Francis Venn impellers, the coordinates of three or more streamlines are transferred into a dummy by the pattern maker. He makes an araldite vein from this dummy first and converts this vein into an aluminium vein by a process of casting. These veins are then hand finished, matched with the dummy perfectly before the final process is complete. He is nearly ready with the pattern of this two-stage split case pump. This pump has two identical but opposed impellers for axial thrust balance. Fluid passages from the first to the second stage is an area of concern and requires interaction between foundry and pattern engineers. The pattern for 200E is now ready. It has been thoroughly checked and is about to move to the foundry. This is the lower half, this is the upper half. We have to be particular about the nomenclature and you can see that that's clearly marked here. In the lower half, we have to be careful about the flanges and that their conformance to the required standard. These are the code boxes for the upper and the lower case. Because this is a high head pump, we are using a double volute construction and you can see that two volutes are at 180 degrees to each other. It is particularly important for the foundry that we are finally able to match the cores here and in this position. For a single stage split case pump such as these, there are usually three pieces of casing pattern and 18 to 19 pieces of core box patterns. Often the patterns and core boxes are numbered and color coded for easy identification at the foundry. the foundry, the pattern gets converted into casing casting. The basic process is the core making, the mold making, pouring of the metal and subsequently shot blasting and inspection of the casting produced. आज पैटर्न तो नहीं लाम पैटर्न तो नहीं बेसिक फिल लाम फिलहाल कोर्ट के पेन कोल लाम पेन कोरार पर बॉक्स चपाना होलो बॉक्स चपाव पर ये जो बार में जो सादा वाली टा आची ये तो केमिकल वाली है हाँ ये टा ये टा 2.5 डिजिन और 2.1 मने एसिड लाम जहाँ पर बाली टा पेन के होलो वार पर वही बाली टा के नहीं ह पाल्टी कर We have to make sure that the pouring temperature is about 1400 degrees centigrade. After knockout, the casing casting is subjected to shot blasting. Shot blasting is done twice. After the first round of shot blasting, the casing is thoroughly checked to ensure absence of casting defects such as blowholes, shrinkages, etc. 
castings are then fettled and cleaned manually. After shot blasting and petaling, the castings are now ready for final inspection. What we check here are the major dimensions at the stuffing boxes, at the bearing bracket areas, at the neck ring to ensure that we have got adequate machining clearances. Immediately before the application of epoxy primer, casings are subjected to a second round of shot blasting. Two coats of epoxy primer are applied before the pumps are sent out to the machine shops. They are inspecting the casing casting before sending it to the machine shop. Split flanges are being checked for any evidence of mismatch between the two halves. A check is also being done on the casing thickness for compliance and uniformity. We put all the pump parts together in the assembly area. This is a critical operation. Ultimately, the mechanical reliability and the hydraulic reliability of the pump is decided by the skill of the assembly area. We have a fairly wide spectrum of impellers here. Low specific speed radial flow impellers are tall and thin. Disc friction and leakage losses are relatively high for these impellers and therefore they have lower efficiencies. High specific speed impellers are shorter and fatter than the low specific speed ones. At the machine shop, the first step is the dimensional inspection of the casing casting. This is followed by three major machining operations. First, the bottom and top cases go through a planing operation on a lathe or a plano miller. This is followed by drilling of the split flanges and assembly of the two halves to get the casing ready for boring. On the boring machine, several specialized jigs and fixtures are used to ensure bore concentricity and parallelism of the bearing bracket and stuffing box faces. Random check on casing hardness is carried out during the pump assembly. Die penetration test is done on all critical impellers and casings. Here we are checking the concentricity of the stuffing box and neck ring bores. Pump assembly is perhaps the most critical step in the manufacturing process. Mechanical reliability of the pump is greatly influenced by the level of accuracy maintained during assembly. Critical quality areas are accurate matching of the two volute halves, correct fit between impeller and the shaft, accurate bearing installation, centering of the impeller in the casing, and mechanical seal installation in the stuffing box. We check the shaft run out at the stuffing box and also neck ring clearance at this stage. Hydrostatic pressure test is done on pump casing at 1.5 times the maximum pressure. We consider this test satisfactory when no seepage or leakage is observed. We have to look carefully at areas subjected to maximum hydrostatic force and also vulnerable areas of casting where there is a change of section. A failure of a hydro test due to leakage from places other than bolted or threaded joints 
is considered a major failure and we need buyer's written approval before we can try any rectification. Performance test is one of the most important activity here. All pumps without exception are tested before they are sent out. The test results are a prime source of learning for us and they greatly influence our subsequent design efforts. We carry out the tests to verify the pump performance and mechanical integrity including noise and vibration levels. The most common standard is ISO 9906 class 2. Hydraulic Institute and API 610 also provide test standards. The storage tank should be large enough for the flow to be measured and should be designed with flow separators and baffles such that air entraining vortices do not enter the pump suction. We call the test that is being done here as the seal integrity test. This pump has single unbalanced mechanical seals on both the stuffing boxes. The seals are rated for a maximum stuffing box pressure of 10 bar. What we are doing here is to subject the fully assembled pump to a pressure of 10 bar to ensure that there is no leakage from the seals. This is the last test on mechanical seal fitted pump and is always done after the performance test. This is the pump that we had selected for our Australian clients. The pump is now nearly ready and we'll go to the test bed from here. Please notice the sharp protecting sleeves. These are driven by impeller key which extends at these two ends. So that is how we make our pumps. Every day we try a little harder to make our pumps a little better, a little more efficient, a little more reliable. We know that we have still a lot to do. We are working on the development of a new generation of split case pumps with highest possible efficiency over a wide operating range. We want these pumps to be mechanically so reliable as to eliminate the need for standby and redundant units. We also need to develop products targeted to meet specific needs of specific market segments, such as air conditioning and fire protection. Design imperatives are unique for each of these segments. We are excited about the future. It will be a long journey full of learning about pumps. The journey will be our reward. Thank you.